The one thing we relied on, that is the stage, is gone. Instagram has become the new venue with venues around the world closing and not opening in full capacity. I can sit in my room, write a song, put it up, and the next second, you know, someone in Amsterdam can like hear it and be like, oh, that's so cool. There's a person who came up to me after the concert and he specifically came to the concert because of my social media post. And that kind of really uh, highlighted the power that uh, social media has. Hi, my name is Tarun Balani. I'm a drummer, a composer and a producer from New Delhi, India. Hello, my name is Mansa and I'm a singer-songwriter from Nenital, Uttarakhand. Hi, I'm Mali and I'm an independent singer, songwriter and composer based in Chennai, India. And now you're breaking all the promises and trust Finding someone to love you better than that Hi, my name is Aishwarya Suresh Bindra. I'm 23 years old and I am a singer-songwriter. Initially, I did not know how to go about it. Uh, with venues closing down all of a sudden, the nation going into panic, the world going into panic. But slowly and steadily, I started uh, warming up to the idea of posting more and more stuff on Instagram. And if I talk of my journey as a musician, my entire band belongs to the southern part of the country, whereas I belong to the north. And it was during the pandemic that we could put together an entire album. It was through Instagram that we met, we spoke to each other, we found each other and we released our first single. Instagram has totally become the new state. It is a big part of my work and it is a, it is a great way in which I can connect with my audiences. I love the way my Instagram family kind of started taking shape just because it was a slow process for sure, but that kind of assured the you know, authenticity of my viewers and it created a community of people that were tuning in for the music and for the topics that, you know, I was discussing on my social handles. And it's not only when I talk of the distribution of information. I know so many people who've taken their business uh, from offline to online are earning well. I realized that if I weren't an artist, I probably would not have been on social media or maybe I would have been on social media but would not have had the pressure to post things and, you know, keep my followers updated with what's going on. I do believe that social media comes with a ginormous hidden price to it and that price almost always is um, the adverse effect it has on one's mental health. But it's times like that when I kind of take a step back and remind myself that we're not all here to create you know, the same art and there's always space for everyone to kind of do their thing and tell their story. 
especially in today's fast-paced, you know, stay relevant kind of content culture that we've created, it's important to remember not to reduce your art to that. My beautiful girl.